Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again with another video. Uh, today I'm talking about the input delay on my Sony 34 XBR910 and comparing it to the TCLP 607 series that I got last year. A lot of people keep talking about how terrible the input delay is on these TVs, these HDCRTs, and there, it's true, there is a lot of input delay. Um, I was testing this out the other night with a friend of mine, and we noticed that the Xbox 360, uh, at stock settings on the television, playing even in 1080i, had pretty noticeable input delay. So I started doing some research finally on trying to get this thing to be closer to, you know, lag-free, like a regular CRT. There's a couple settings. Uh, HD pass-through is one of them. There's another one that goes YS. YOSW and the last one which is the MIDE equals 63 uh, the bypass on that and that actually made the biggest difference in other resolutions uh, everyone talks about HDPT only being good for 1080i well that MIDE works on other resolutions as well so to test this out what I did was I set up a clone mode be on 720p on this set and then 720p on this one and I know people are going to say, well, that's a 4K screen. How is that fair? Well, this is a 1080i screen or 540p uh, running at, I believe, 33 kilohertz, where is uh, 720p is 45 kilohertz. So neither of them are going to be native. So this TV, the TCL, uh, you know, people love this TV. came out last year. I, you know, loved it. Uh, it's rated about 14 to 15 millisecond in 1080p at 4k. It's about 16 milliseconds. So 720p. I don't I don't know what the hard number is, but I'm hoping it's somewhere around maybe like 13 14 millisecond in that range Well when I set up the cloning on both TVs with the menu settings set on this guy here and I found that when recording it with a slow motion camera, I found that this CRT, that's right, this CRT at 720p, not 1080i, 720p, was 3 milliseconds faster consistently than the TCL. So what I would, I did, I recorded, but like, like pretty much brought this back like this, recorded both screens same time, and I went frame by frame and consistently the crt at 720p was faster than this one um kind of blew my mind at first but uh i started playing games on it tonight it really testing out input delay to see how good it really is and i must say with those settings it's much better i'll put the settings in the comments for those of you who have any of these sony xbr televisions i'm sure most of you know about the hd pass through setting and um People always say, oh, that only works for 1080i. Well, the MIDE made a big difference for me. I'm um, not really sure what it does. Picture-wise, I didn't see much of a difference. The only one I saw that made a difference was that YOSW. That one actually made a difference in the picture, but I don't know if it made much of a difference in the input delay. I just tried all three of them at once, and even at 720p, yes, the Sony CRT is faster than this TV here. Now, it makes me wonder... Maybe there is more input delay on the TCL P607 at 720p. I'm I'm not 100% sure, but I would imagine it's got to be in the same ballpark of the 1080p and 4K scores. But uh, yeah, um, at if, even if it was like 10 millisecond or 12 millisecond, that's still subframe. That's more than playable. And that myth of these TVs being so terrible for gaming, you know, to me flies out the window. I think it's a great set. I don't know if I'd use 240p on it or 480i on it, but at 480p and definitely 720p, it looks great. And 1080i always looked good. It's just, you know, you worry about that input delay. But I'm here to tell you at 720p, at least on this TV with these settings, this Sony CRT is beating out the TCL P607, which everyone says is the one of the lowest lag TVs on the market today. And it is. Anyway, just a little PSA out there for those folks out wondering. It's like, man, these Sony CRTs, are they worth getting? Hey, if you have the room and you have the space and you could definitely handle the weight, bring a friend with you, it's more than a bargain. 
Anyway, guys, take care.